Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's V-Man. Today we're going to start our reactions to Oshinoko. If you're joining me off of my recent Jujutsu Kaisen reactions, you're going to be wondering why I look completely different than how I looked a second ago. That's because I had this anime on the list to react to for the channel, and I was going to record it later, but, you know, halfway through recording all the other shows, I decided to go ahead and record it now, just because it's only 11 episodes, so I was like, might as well go ahead and get it out of the way. So, like I said, if you're coming off of that Jujutsu Kaisen reaction, and this is why I look completely different than how I looked back then, Mostly just the hair, but you know, it's whatever. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and start our reactions to Oshinoko. I've heard mixed reviews about it. Some people like the manga adapt the adaptation from the manga, some people don't like it. But I've heard more positive than negative, so I'm really interested to see going in blind, like never reading never reading the manga or anything like that. Really interested to see how this anime holds up. So we're gonna go ahead and start with episode one here, Mother and Children. <laughs> So, so the show is about idols, I guess. We've got a mega fan here. Why do you have to detail her age like that? He's like those fans that have been following the artists like long before they, you know, hit mainstream. It's not called Twitter anymore. I don't believe that. Everyone, everyone's thought about that. At least once in their life. Unless, you know, you were born like that. But, you know, everyone else has definitely thought about it. I don't. She didn't make it to 16. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's sad. I understand that. You know, kind of like after losing somebody you cared about, kind of like watching, not really watching what they used to watch, but kind of like having a deeper connection to something that you kind of both enjoyed together. And him sitting in the room watching it with her, you know, it was probably some really good memories that he made with her. So I'm sure him watching the idol, or I, the idol group, kind of like brings back those memories he had with her, those of the good times. That's her, isn't it? She's pregnant? Is that her? That was her hair. But, um, I, I think, yeah, I. She's 16 years of age. Yeah. Okay, that's why they kept saying, that's probably why they kept saying, emphasizing on 16, because I was like, why do they keep bringing up her age? Yeah, that's her. She was raising the children's home. Yeah, that's her. I hope he keeps it together. I hope he doesn't have, like, a fan moment with her right there. He's about to go in the hall and freak out. He kept his composure. Yep. Yeah. Why didn't consult me? Consult you in what? Like, in dating someone or consult her before, you know? Oh, she's having twins. I mean, yeah, her eyes are a dead giveaway. Why are her eyes black? I don't. I don't think she really enjoys it. Just from like her pose and her eyes being blacked out. I don't think she likes lying to everybody like that. Is that what this show is going to be about? Like her trying to 
live her two separate lives, like being an idol and hiding her kids. And I guess he's gonna like move to the city with her and help out and stuff. Well, it depends. Who's, who's the dad? <laughs> they may not have your small face. Why wouldn't you just, like, if you had a planned birth? Well, she said she wanted it naturally. I was about to say, if you have a planned birth, why would you go home? Like, why, why wouldn't the doctor just stay there and wait for it? That must... Is that the dad? If her name is, if she's using a fake name and he knows her, her last name that's never been made public. He probably just came to watch the child be born. What is happening? Did, did he just die? Is that where this is going? When when they kept mentioning being reborn as a star's child, because even the two guys in the waiting room said it, I was like, I was thinking it was going to be his patient, the one that was on his phone, but it's going to be him. So I was half right. I was half right, but that's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's him right there in the front. He said, I didn't, I didn't think it had anything to do with me. Oh, that's cool. He's like a single star in his eye? That's cool. I just realized the voice actor dreams. <laughs> I was just so focused on reading. Oh, that's cool. He kept all his memories. That's cool. Like, I mean, I don't know. Because it was kind of like the same thing in uh, Shadow. Like, being reborn and having to be a child. Like, do you have all your motor skills and stuff? Like, I know he said um he had all his memories, but it's like... Can he walk and talk and everything and he has to pretend like he can't? Their eyes are cool. Like, I like their eyes better than I like um eyes. Like, the two, the two star in her eyes look cool, but like... Having the single one, I think, looks cooler. Now he got married. How long has it... Oh, how, how old are the kids? How long has it been since he died? Did they say that? And I just didn't... Wasn't paying attention? I wonder if... I wonder if that's what it's really like over there. Like being an idol and stuff. Like they have to be perfect. Because I mean over here, you know. Like the young child stars, they kind of do what they want. And people still love them anyway, for some reason or another. But, you know. We're not going to get into that, but yeah. <laughs> the complete opposite of what other, like, actual babies do. They look super young right there. Okay. The, the group... I like the attention to detail. All the corners have a have like foam on the side, so they don't bump their head. That's cool. That they would animate that, you know, or not animate it, but put it on the show. Okay, so he he just turned on the TV and everything. <laughs> this is gonna be a struggle. <laughs> Literally, the first five seconds. Oh yeah, my child. It's been six months. Been six months since you had the kids, or six months since I disappeared? That's, that's true. They're always only looking at numbers. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dude, everybody literally froze. Is she reborn too? Why is she talking? Or can he just understand like baby talk? 
Okay, no. She definitely has to be reborn. She's talking like she knows. Okay, yeah, she has been reborn. Not this child in like a Twitter or. Well, not Twitter. You know, but, you know it's whatever. Is that her? Okay, so I thought his his patient was gonna be reborn as Ai's child. But that was four years ago, right? It was four years ago? Yeah, because she passed away when she was twelve, but he just died and got reborn, so I don't think them it's an anime. We'll see what happens. I mean, it would be weird, but it'd also be weird for you to not do it, right? Because you want to act as natural as possible. She has no problem. <laughs> I was like, she has no problem. Is that a girl? Was it a dude reborn as a girl, or is that a girl? Because she was enjoying herself. <laughs> Yeah, see, like, that's what I was saying, like, playing the part of a child, that way nothing seems weird. Okay, so she is a, she is a girl. Yeah, you're gonna have to protect her, there's a stalker after her. With his murder intent in his eyes. But you did get married. So you could work with hot guys. That's crazy. About to call a reporter. Do we kill her? Well, they could get away with it. Like, if they killed her, you know. No one's gonna be like, oh, the baby did it. Even if they leave, like, evidence behind, they could just play it off like, oh, the babies are crawling around in the room. The music. Or the sound design. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, the light behind them is real. They, <laughs> that's funny. They put a light on the table. I thought they just like animated it like that. That's hilarious. Okay. I'm about to say, yeah, I'm just be like, yo, the... you asked for the concrete details. She's really good. She just took, she took what he did and ran with it, like, very well. Or played it off, or played it up very well. Oh, that's cool. Now they can do what they want when they're being babysitted. Yeah, she just woke up to her name. He didn't notice that? She literally said, did you call me? And he was like, no. She just said your name. Okay, yeah, that is her. That's cool. I hope they, like, find out soon i hope that like there's this thing's like an hour long so hopefully they find out because that'd be cool it's a good mom let's try to do her best to give her all the options that they can get give her give them all the options that she could possibly give them Oh wow. 
What is happening? What was what just happened? She when she was walking with him, she was like What? That was so random. No, but um like when she was walking with the kids, like she was 2D. Like she wasn't animated, like she was just a picture moving back and forth. So it met, it threw me off, like the whole thing looked weird. Oh wow. They're just gonna yell at her until they get her more options or more business. That, that's true. I mean, not just Tokyo. Like, there's a lot of... Well, actors, really. But there's a lot of, like, young actors that don't end up making it. That have to go on to live normal lives. I like that they're kind of like, you know, showing a little bit behind the scene, behind the scene stuff for what happened in the, I'm not going to say the entertainment industry, because this looks like it's specific to Japan, but yeah, a majority of what they're saying is true, because I, I learned a lot of it when I was studying. Oh, they let them go to a show. That's cool. I think their eyes are gonna definitely give it away. There's not another character in this show with eyes like that. Not to be funny, but is this the only song that they sing? Or... <laughs> so much for a low profile. Where did they even get those? Instincts took over? That's funny. She didn't say that out loud, did she? Did she say that out loud? You're in trouble. Oh, so her seeing her kid's reaction like made her have like a... Her seeing her kids like her music gave her like a genuine reaction, and like I guess some fans were able to tell. Yeah, suspicious. Honestly, yeah. If you got reborn, that'd be that'd be the smart thing to do. Just act like you're super smart, but then they might try and make you, you know, do extra classes or something like that. Your parents or the school or whatever. I mean, he could do it because he's a doctor. So, like, if he pretended to be a super genius, he could probably pass. But her, she, she was twelve when she died, so she wouldn't be able to make it that far, like education-wise. But you know. <laughs> what happened to playing it cool? <laughs> Yep. That's the go-to excuse. YouTube. Wouldn't I be the, uh... Yeah, I would be the one... I would be the one bringing people in, you know? Because she's already an idol. So they'd want to watch to see... Like, her fans would want to watch the show to see her in the show. <laughs> A DVD? What year is this? Is this set in? I don't even think kids nowadays know what DVDs are. <laughs> Could you imagine getting an angry call phone call from like a toddler? Oh wow, that's cool. Oh yeah, because he had to be on a production company. Yeah, they definitely should have left her at home. That's what I'm, I'm with her, whoever that is. Oh. I'm with Kana. 
Film set is no no place for all that crying. Unless it's in the scene, of course. Oh, well. Never mind. Getting told to stop crying by the child actor known for crying in, in under 10 seconds is crazy. Those are fighting words. I mean, for Ruby, those are definitely fighting words. Dude, I hate people. Uh oh. Yeah, fighting words. Yep. Yep. Yeah, he made the scene for you. So, typically, when you write a scene for a specific person, you're going to take into account how that person normally acts. Yeah. What happened to his eye right there? Or was that just like a visual thing that they did? She's jealous. And he did better than her in that scene. You're gonna tell the director. Alright. You're just gonna walk up and tell the director to reshoot the scene. And then start crying over it? Didn't you just tell Ruby to stop crying? Well, she's an actual kid though. So, unless, she, unless everyone in the show has been reborn. Yeah, because, yeah, I was just about to say that, too. Um, trying to hand her purse off to the AD, when in actuality you would hand it to the PA. Like, she should have her own PA, but I'm not going to go into that. But. Yeah, but he wrote that, he wrote that part for you, though. So you acting, not not playing yourself, but acting naturally when someone writes a role for you. I mean, because if you really think about, like, so for example, um, the creators of Friends, uh, Mar Marta and David, they actually they met David Swimmer earlier and they wanted him for a different show, but I don't think he wasn't able to film the show for some reason. But when they were writing Friends, they wrote the character Ross with him in mind. So they wanted him to play Ross the whole time, and that's why he was such a good fit for Ross, because that role was written for him. And so it's not it's not like playing yourself in a film, but I, I'll, I don't want to go into detail about it, but yeah. This is actually really cool getting to see this stuff, like, in an anime, like this real world. I mean, this real world stuff about film. I went to college for film. They still haven't found his corpse. So they buried an empty casket? I just assumed they found his body at his, um, funeral. Would it be weird if he told them where it was at? No, that'd be weird. Never mind. Don't do that. Unless the dude moved his body. Oh, Oh, wow. I mean, at least he likes his new life now. Like, it would suck if he got reborn and didn't like his new life. I feel like that'd be... I feel like having a new life and not liking it would be worse than having a new life and enjoying it and being depressed about your old life, you know? You don't like dancing? Or is it like, oh no, she's bad at dancing. I'm about to say, or it might just be like, you know, your parent, like being an idol and being like a really good dancer makes you not want to do it for fear of not being as good as them. Yeah. Yeah, you can't let... Basically, how you felt about your old life interfere with your new one, just because like you have a second chance, and now that you have a second chance, you should do everything you can to, you know, um, take advantage of it. Basically, do everything you can to not waste your second chance.
They do have other songs. Okay, cool. Yeah, because she's watched it hundreds of times. She probably saw it when it first happened. Yeah, she's seen it hundreds of times. Oh, thousands. She's probably like a naturally good dancer. Like once, once she gets a hold of it, she'll probably be like, like amazing at it. Yeah. That's cool. That's sweet. Oh yeah, and yeah, like, I was so like caught up in the story, I really didn't think about it much, you know? Aside from the beginning, but, like who their father is. Yeah, そう、you got the mom like and the the aunt and uncle like their little family that's really cool also because like i said she grew up in like um she didn't have a family i think is what they yeah they said she didn't really have a family growing up and that's why that's part of the reason why she wanted to have the kids so she could have her own little family and now she has one that's really cool so yeah yeah, if he, like what he was saying, like you've never had anything to love. That's cool, I don't, that's a good way to recruit her. Like, it's not like he was straight up lying. Uh, he was like, yeah, maybe if you do this and you might love it and you might end up finding something to love. So yeah, it's not like he just straight up tricked her or anything to become an idol. So that's cool. She's gonna say it. She's gonna say it and mean it. The fact that she's scared to say it because she thinks she won't mean it. No, that's how you know that she already loves him. Was that the dad with the flowers? That that was that was the stalker, right? A little happy life. That was her life flashing before her. I didn't even realize that. Dude, he stabbed her? Why did he stab her? You stabbed her because she had kids? Right? This is so annoying. She's not about to die, right? Her life flashed before her eyes, but she's still alive. Now you're really looking stupid. Dude, you just stabbed her. Is she gonna die? Dude, she remembered your name from a couple of handshake events, and you just stabbed her in the gut. You're not gonna help her? I was about to say, yeah, somebody call the police. Oh, he's a doctor. Can he... Can he save her? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it'll be cancelled. She's not really gonna die, right? It's crazy that she's, like, thinking about everyone else. Except for herself right now, in this moment. Like, she's really selfless. Like, always caring for other people. And it's crazy, she was, like, 
she was scared of, like well she was lying to everyone the whole time but it's like deep down she really did care about all her fans and everyone else and you can tell by just like her last like requesting her words and stuff like that that's so sad to be like the last thing you say to your kids well the first it's the first time she said it and the last time she's ever gonna say it she's probably like really traumatizing for them even though they are reborn and like they're like older they're not really toddlers but that would still suck if it happened to you they're just releasing all the information like how long has it even been you're just telling everything yeah you shouldn't be on the internet right after yeah someone someone should take that phone from her she doesn't need to be reading what they're saying like so soon after all this Ask myself that question every day. Have you seen some crazy stuff nowadays? She's, she's got a point. Uh, just how people are. Not, mm, yeah, that's true too. Like, the internet's so quick to just move on. Like, unless something affects you, like, personally, like, in your actual life. Everyone, they'll talk about something, something big for like a week, and then they'll move on to the next, next big event, next big thing that happens. Even if it's tragic, like a week, two weeks top, and then it's like it never even happened. It's sweet that she, it's nice that she asked if they wanted to be adopted by her. That's really cool, like her character, it's like, she went through like a whole character arc in like one episode. Like, she did, like, a complete 180 of how she used to be. In the beginning, she just wanted to meet hot guys and do her own thing. Like, she almost, like, exposed I and everything. Is it, um... Yeah. Is it the dad? Because it wasn't the dad. Yeah, the, la the dad. The dad is the last person she talked to because she said that the kids wanted to meet him. And if she just moved into that place, she would have had to give him the new address. Yeah. Is that where we're going with this? That's cool. I like that. So this show is going to be a revenge arc? Like this whole show is going to be about finding his dad? Finding their dad? Their voice actors changes again? Oh! They're like teenagers. Oh, the time skips that keep happening in the show. I like how they did that. That's cool. Oh, that was, um... So much is happening. I'm just gonna talk about it at the end. Oh. I guess this is... Yeah, this is the end. Enjoying some alcohol. I hope we get to watch them. I hope we get to see them watching this video. Like in this series. Alright, so that was episode one of Oshinoko. I think I'm really, really gonna enjoy this series. Like that was just the first episode and I like how they how they staged it as a prologue. Like if you're reading a book or, you know, doing film or something like that. You know, you kind of get the prologue to see what's going on before the story, you know, really starts. Kind of like, um, like, like the original Castlevania, like season one was only like four episodes, I'm pretty sure. But it was just like, you know, the introduction leading into the story that's about to happen. And I really enjoyed that. My, uh, my background is actually in film. I went to film school and got my degree. So it was actually really cool getting to see like them talking about like the behind the scenes aspects of the, of the film industry and things like that. And I really hope that this series kind of stays like that. Because it's actually really interesting to see, like, going behind the curtains, seeing, like, how idols really live. I mean, well, this is more, in, like, centered around, like, Japan and things like that. But, like, seeing how idols really have to live their life, how they're always living a lie. And, um, well, you know, not all of them. But, you know, just that for the show. We get to see how they're, like, living their lives as lies and things like that. And this, the plot of the show, like, I had, like, two or three series two or three um theories throughout this reaction and not once did i ever think i was we were going to get to 
the series is going to be about Aqua trying to find his birth father because his birth father had his mother killed. Like, there is there was no way I was going to be able to guess that. Um, but it's really cool. Like I said, the whole rebirth thing was really interesting. Like, they, they kept saying it at the beginning when, when the first episode started, but I really didn't grasp it until, you know, he was laying there dying. That's when I really understood. I'm like, oh, he's about to be reborn. But, yeah, this show, this show is actually... Uh, just the first episode, I think I'm really going to like it, but, you know, we'll see as we go on and get deeper into it. Um, they touched on a lot of, like, serious points, too, um, you know, about, like, social social climate with, like, you know, like, social media and things like that and how famous people have to deal with social media. You know, if there's a scandal or whatever, everyone has their own opinions about it, and then it's, like... It, just as soon as it happens, it can disappear just like that. But it's like the internet will forget about it, but that person's reputation will be tarnished forever, you know, which is, it's really weird when you think about it. It's like a scandal will happen after two days, it'll be gone. But that person's career will never be the same, which is really interesting. I wonder how that's going to affect like the kids as they're growing up and they're going to school because like they're teenagers now. And I'm sure like some people like would still talk about I, you know, so I wonder how that's going to go. All in all, I think this show is going to be really interesting because it's like you get to see the behind the scenes of what things are like in in the industry, like just in the entertainment industry as a whole. And then you also have, well, really, the entertainment industry part is kind of like the subplot. The main plot is Aqua trying to find their birth dad, you know, so he can kill him. Well, we'll see. I mean, he looks like he's going to end up killing him. But yeah. And then as for the eyes, speaking of, yeah, speaking of the eyes and stuff like that, I wonder, because, you know, throughout the sh- Throughout the first episode, their eyes had the star in the middle and they were white. But when I got like a little, I don't know if you would say depressed, but whenever she got like, she started talking about her past and things like that, her eyes got dark. Like even on the rooftop, whenever she was talking to him when he was an adult, the star in her eye went dark. And then here at the end, Aqua, his star went black. And I think there was one other time where her eye was dark. Oh, yeah when she was talking to the recruiter, when he was trying to recruit her, and he was like, it's okay to lie, like, lying is a part of life, and her eye actually went from dark to light, so I wonder if that has any significance, and I don't think, I don't think people can see it, I don't know, maybe that's just for us, like, maybe that's just, like, an artistic choice in the show, because, like I said, when they were first born, I was like, it'd be a dead giveaway, because she has two stars in her eyes, and they both have stars in their eyes, but not everyone seems to notice but what really made me realize it was kind of like an artistic thing is like that the stars in their eyes change color. And then also when she died, you also had that um, that one visual cue about like when he was looking up at the stars on, t- on the rooftop of the hospital and I, I had both her eyes open and there was a star above her. Like you saw that, that star go away. So it was like representing her death and stuff, which was really sad. That whole scene in general was just sad. Like that's a really... It's a really sucky way to end that episode, to be honest. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to watching the rest of the series. Hopefully, it's all as good as this episode. If the rest of the series is as good as is this episode, like, I'm assuming the manga has to be even better, because like I said, I heard mixed reviews about it, but we'll see as we go on. Anyways, that's it for episode one of Oshinoko. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.